Welcome back to Australia's favorite strength and conditioning podcast, Strength Cultures Podcast, number one in the hearts, number one in the charts. I just wanted to let you know that the first batch of our six-week gym and coaching package for the March intake, a lot of those people are coming to the end now, which has been fantastic to see their progress over their first six weeks working with us in-house. Uh, one of the clients has moved into uh, ongoing online coaching because she's from out west uh, and she's got her first actual powerlifting comp coming up, which will be a USAPL comp with us here in May at Strength Culture. Uh, another client has been undertaking additional one-on-ones with Charlie, uh, just to get a little bit more confidence in the gym with her technique, and she felt like she needed a little bit more support, so we added on a few extra one-on-ones for her. Uh, one of the other girls as well has uh, said she's been loving it. Uh, she can't believe how much progress she's made. Uh, she's taken her deadlift from 60 kilos as her max up to 72 and a half, which has been awesome to see. Um, and it just kind of just aligns with what we were saying where you can actually make some pretty significant progress in six weeks. So if you are interested in the six-week gym and coaching package, our April intake has opened. We've already sold two of those spaces, so we've only got four left for the month of April. So if you are interested, first link down below. Uh, reach out if you're in the area. We'd love to work with you. Uh, you get more support, more accountability, and more contact with your coach than ever before with some additional one-on-ones as well as a fully personalized program uh, and a full gym membership here at Strength Culture. So if you're looking to take your training to the next level, now is the best time. $500 up front. It works out to be like $83 per week uh, and you get everything. So if you want more information, first link down below. That was quick. <laughs> a lot of people like longer. I think people do like longer I, podcasts. I, I, I know even myself, I like longer ones like over and over. People like long podcasts if they're good. If you don't like a podcast, yeah. a long po- but if, if it's a good podcast, people like Well, ours is a yeah. fucking great that's podcast. That's the thing, thing, man. Like, if, you, if it's a shit podcast, you just turn it off. If it's long, you're like, fuck, yeah, yeah, something yeah. done. Like, if you get to the end, you're like, fuck, I want more. That's a pretty good sign. Yeah. So anyway, oh, yeah, keep them keep keep more. Keep them wanting more. Cheer to Maine, keep them keen. Um, it, well, we're going to try it for a month. We'll see how we go. This is episode That's two of the short R. So yeah, today will be another 40 minutes. Oh, we're recording. We are. Are we on? <laughs> that was the review of our 40 minute banger. Because I didn't get much, personally. I just got Deuce. Deuce sent me a direct message. Yeah, because she told me and I said, tell Jamie. <laughs> I had Deuce, Todd, Jeremy. MLI message. Also, yeah. they're probably three of our biggest fans. So it's like <laughs> skewed. But if there's but if, if, if there's more people who like the longer episodes, Yeah, but they're also us. people that feel comfortable messaging us. That's Most people true. wouldn't. They're close to us. But They'd be like, oh. We're, like, we're, we're like feedback. So if genuinely, if you think it sucks, just tell us yeah. and we'll tag it on board. I got, a, I, got a, I got a message from a new client, Tom Mooney. He goes... Been listening to the podcast. Fuck you, blokes. Dribble, mm. dribble, <laughs> dribble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, good, in a good way. Good. Yeah, he finished yeah. it with like, like yeah. So like maybe he's, he's more of a. He goes always a good listen. He's soft. Okay, a good listen. All right. Yeah, always a good listen. Sandwich. Always a good listen. Was yeah. it a compliment Fuck. sandwich or was it just straight to dribble? Well, I, I personally, I take dribble the ability to dribble. It's a skill as a compliment. If we dribble, but you make it to the end of the podcast, we're doing something right. I yeah, think. yeah that's or it. we're a good fit for you. Dribble. You're a good fit for us. Yeah, that's it. Absolutely. Niche. They should dribble in the yeah, yeah. Dribbling. Yeah. Dribbling yeah. the b-ball. <laughs> dribble. Um, one of the things I've been seeing in the gym, and maybe just because it was this morning, but um, I've seen Miss Lifts, fellas. And From I, who? I, I'm not, I'm not going to call anyone call out. No, I'm not them. calling them out. Name them. Nah, name them. <laughs> no, I'm not calling them out. We don't miss lifts. We actually had a conversation last week as well with one of the members uh, who said he had missed a lift as well. Coach member. He's not coach, no. Two of these members aren't coach. They're just gym members. Oh, that's the that. third one is coach, though. All right, non-coach is okay, but we'll have to educate. We yeah. have to go down there. We have to fucking educate. But coach members, we've got to fucking... S- Get them in line. Stamp that out ASAP. Get them in line. And I was wondering is... Uh, what, what's If you're missing lifts regularly, what strategies? What, what do we have in our toolkits, boys? I reckon there's one little slogan that just people need to remember. St- stimulate, don't annihilate. <laughs> Training is about stimulation, not about f- destroying yourself every single time. You don't have to redline? You don't have to redline to make progress. Re- redlining is for competition, for peaking, for w- whatever sport it is. That's when you fucking redline. On the actual day? On the day. You wouldn't redline? Like, how would you How would you run singles up into a comp? You don't need to. We never, we never really prescribe. You prescribe RPE 10 singles? Never, never, never. I see a lot of them. But that- <laughs> well, that's that's poor poor execution from someone. Choosing. And all load selection. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's poor execution. Like they're they're choosing to to, to pit an RPE ten when yeah. really you should. You don't need to. You just don't need to. You're, the singles in there for competition to practice lifting 
heavy singles because there's a like you can't just do fives forever and then expect to be really good at he- lifting heavy singles. So we practice those with easy, not easy, with sub maximal loads, RP sevens, eights, nines. And the thing people might hear sub maximal think like it's easy. It's like it doesn't mean easy. It's just no. not yeah. max. Like if you're say, five to ten kilos off your max, that is sub maximal because it's, it's challenging but doable. That's what it, that's the sweet spot. Challenging yeah. but doable. Yeah. What about the argument that you get? It's like, oh, how am I supposed to prepare? For a max load, if I've never touched the max load, well, that's the that's the beauty of it. You're not meant to fight. You're not meant to. You're you're, you're going in competition. You're 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 looking for. New, you're searching new realms. That's yeah. What, yeah, and also the sub maximal. Like, I don't. Yeah, the also same, the it was the same thing with the triathlon. Like, yeah, the paces that I was hitting on the day were not what things that I like had done or sustained in training for that long. Yes, I think in competition you go that little extra bit. Training yes. is to prepare you for that. For that, and also the sub maximal is maximal enough. You know what I mean, or it's intense enough yeah. to you have you prepared at 80% enough. Don't of your max, but like it doesn't have to be ninety. And an RP it's nine. still the ninety percent of your max. RP is still nine going is to, hard. It is hard. It's still fucking heavy. You're still preparing for something that is going to be a max. Like, yeah, all right. Might, might not be like a ten out of ten grind, but like it's still hard enough for you to focus on. Good technique through a tough lift. So on top of that, if you've like worry. never maxed out before, like absolutely ever, and then you go and do it, yeah, some shit might happen that you don't expect. But once you've maxed out once, you know, okay, a max lift's a bit different. You got to stick with it. You've got to make sure you focus on this. Like it's okay. Maybe the first time you ever compete, you might go and max out, and you're like, shit, I wasn't expecting to be that hard, or I stuffed this up. Cool, you've learned that. Move forward. Like it's it's not this ongoing occurrence for the rest of your life. It's like I need to know what heavyweight feels like. It's like. You don't need it's, to know what 101% of your max feels like. It's you just, the Ed, you just Cohen, Ed Cohen quote when someone asked him, like, oh, what did his first 800-pound deadlift feel like? He's like, oh, what's your max? And the guy's like, 140. He's like, what did that feel like? He's like, the hardest thing I've ever done. He's like, yeah, same thing. Same like, it's it. always just the hardest thing you've ever done. That's, That's it. Yeah, like, it doesn't – it's always relative to you. Yeah. That's it. So what can we do from a programming sense then for chronic overshooters? These, well, one of the groups of people that I've been seeing fail, I'm going to give them a pass. We've had these four young lads come in last Tuesday. Full of piss and vinegar. Yeah. Piss and vinegar. <laughs> last, last Tuesday, they, two of them came in. They're doing push-pull run. They're in year 12 and they're on yeah. school holidays. We in love the it. And uh, they train at GSAC, Charles. GSAC, the old remember stomping ground. Remember the old G-Sac? I remember just pounding drop set tricep of extensions. The old G-Sac. stomping ground. Then we'd sit in the sauna with the Russians. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. It's good. They sauna so too, the boys, the young lads. Do they? Yeah, I heard sauna. sauna. It's, a, it's the rite of path. You go through a, com- a community gym and you fucking hit the sauna. Yeah, I was at the uh, yeah. uh, yeah. uh, Croydon pools. Yeah. Did you ever hit laps beforehand? Laps of what? Forehand. The actual fucking pools. At nah, nah, you never hit those laps? Really, nah. I remember we did a recovery of uh, one of the footy teams. Oh, we did we that, yeah, yeah, footy recovery. And it was just like, arms over your head, walk in the water. I'm like, what the fuck is this doing? Um, the, uh, the Bentley Fitness Center sauna is good for old Russian dude wisdom. Yeah. They yeah. Tell, they'll tell you how to train, and I'll believe every word. Absolutely. 100%. My sister's boyfriend, Dim, still uh, goes there and uses the sauna, yeah. trains there and uses the sauna. Love that. So what's, it what's, hasn't changed. Is the, an, is the uh, what, what is it called when it's like three letters? B, is it BFC? Is that what it stands for? Bentley Fitness Acronym. Center. Yeah, BFC. BFC, because yeah. we had a new client in. It's like, oh, he's training BFC, and I'm like, Oh, that's where Bentley finished it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I just thought, I just, I just thought like boating, camping, fishing. Like that's where my brain went. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BCF and fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's an establishment there. All the, all the heavy. That's the right, that's the right of passage. I don't think it's changed. changed. Yeah, they upgraded the Not boxing room. That was it. And they've got new lights. Yeah. There's neons around the joint. <laughs> that was it. Hasn't it. changed. Blue neons. Love that. A couple of topless dudes now on the wall. Yeah. Anyway, these kids came in last week, two of them, and then, uh, they brought the other so the four of them were in here this morning and I had a I had a team meeting at the front because they're young and I'm like well I've got to help. I'm like alright boys what's the plan today what are we hitting they wanted to do bench and deadlifts because obviously we're doing push pull run so we're doing bench and deads and they're like oh we, we want to start I, can with- I just make an, a, a, can I make <laughs> yeah. a, a, a guess here yeah that they've only ever failed bench and deadlifts never failed a squat <laughs> no, no one ever no one failed, failed, no, one squat. failed squat. <laughs> no one failed squats man I think, uh, Nick Fraser failed one didn't he someone did Recently, Nick Barreto. Yeah, I think Barreto's been in the pocket. Yeah, he's, 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 he's in Barreto, the sock, man. Barreto he's so stays a little bit too much in the pocket after like I had this conversation with him. But anyway, let's, <laughs> let's let me finish this. We'll get to the in the pocket in the sock conversation. The I'm like I'm like G and these boys up. I'm like, what's the plan? They're telling me. I'm like, all right, boys. I think you should hit some singles. The comps next week. Let's just get some practice on the equipment here. And I'm like, boys, no miss lifts today. And they're like, yeah, done. No miss lifts. 
Get to the bench press. They're benching like 80 kilos. We missed 85 twice. One of them missed 70. One of them missed 105. I reckon 50% of the singles were missed. I'm like, boys, what is going on here? Like, what is happening? Um, and then we got to the deadlifts. But the deadlifts were better. They were definitely better, better executed with the deadlifts. But uh, I was thinking, like, how can we... How do we help well, these? I think in that exact instance, it's what I think what's very practical for someone in that spot is understanding sensible low jumps. Like if you do a deadlift, if it's a hard single, you'll probably add five kilos and you'll, you'll, you'll probably still get it. Whereas like if you're benching even up to like 120, let's, but let's just say 70, 80, 90, if it's morally hard and you add five kilos, you could just get stapled. So like just knowing what a smart low jump is and just generally speaking, bench, if in doubt, go the two and a half kilo jump. Like take the safe bet. Obviously you can be a bit more adventurous, but straight away, that's going to allow you to put the appropriate round of the bar. Because I think people are like, oh, I'll go 40, then 50, and then 60. It's like, no, there's there's jumps in between. You can yeah. go. You don't have to I think to the percentage, the, the, percent, the percentage conversation is a good one. 100%. As well, yeah. like with a low jump. Like if you're jumping up five kilos from a 50 kilo bench press, like that is a 10% increase. And then you, you explain what that would be on deadlifts and they're like, oh, okay, I'll get yeah. that now. That's like going up. Yeah, 15 kilos. It's a big jump. So yeah. even with these kids, you could, for singles, you could be like, what's a hard triple that you've hit before? That they've actually hit. Not hypothetically. Like you've they've done. actually hit a triple and then be like, just do that for one. Yeah. That's the easiest. I've never probably. hit a triple. Huh? Just singles. I used to train deadlifts by just doing singles. Singles only. Yeah. Only back, singles. Just, just strain in the back. Just string all, <laughs> And then just, boys, I've got a mad low back pump. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Can't walk. I used to, my goal for deadlifts was to deadlift 120 kilos. When I first started, I was like, that'll, that'll be a good deadlift if I can get that. Absolutely. In your runners, in your assets, yeah. <laughs> in your All footy back. socks. I deadlift 100 for the first time in school shoes and school pants, lunchtime. <laughs> yeah. Proper back pain. All back. Just, proper back pain. Like yeah. I couldn't like reach past my knees the next day. I'm like, yeah, that's good. That's, that's, that's good. That's Nailed when you know it's working. That's it. That's um, it. So what, what can we do for chronic overshooters then? So Slap if, across if, the face. If, <laughs> so if, if you know you're a chronic overshooter, you have to be aware of it. If you're regularly missing lifts, you're definitely an overshooter. So there's no question like you are. I think paying attention to bar speed and technique breakdown as you're warming up. If you have a last warm up and there's already a noticeable amount of drop in bar speed, there's only so much left you have to give. You might be able to go up, but you're getting close. So that's where you want to start to make smaller jumps if you are going to go up. And even if you can hit something, but there's like a massive technique breakdown, like you squat and you completely fold over. It's like you could go up, but like, should we? Was, should we just retake that and and do it a bit cleaner. But the, the biggest thing is bar speed. If the bar speed isn't there on your warm-ups, you're probably already at a working set and just leave it there, Come back, hit your back offs, and then, yeah, come back. A lot of speed. people have um, issues with that, like letting go of the fact that they had this number in their head and they're not going to get it today. You've got to come in with a plan, but be adaptable. Like, you can't just have yeah. no idea. you but you, you got to find that, that happy medium where you yeah. have a plan, but be willing to push it up or push it down. Yeah, there's a day. healthy level of detachment to all outcomes, like mm. up or down. You have to know it's like, it's all right if I can do more or if it's like, usually it's like, oh, adapt and know that you can do less. You know what I mean? Like, and that's okay. It's always a negative frame. It's always yeah. the negative frame, but knowing that also it's like, you could come in with this number and it's like, there is also the chance that you could go up. It'll happen. Like, there'll be those days. Yeah. yeah it's, it's just like, I'm going to see what happens. This is my rough goal weight. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And then we're, if you can just zoom out right. and realize going down two and a half kilos one week is fine because in two weeks you could go up five kilos and when those little ups and downs are averaged out over time, provided you train consistently, you're going to be heading in the right direction. It doesn't have to be every single week that you're going up and being okay to repeat loads is fine. Like, Or maybe even going down. If you hit something but it's extremely hard, coming into next week, you probably shouldn't look to repeat it. You might actually come down and want to hit it with better technique or not have it be an all-out grinder. There's, like, that's a that's a win if you can yeah. do that. Yeah. Actually, I had someone miss a bench as well the other day. Um, we did the update yesterday. <clears throat> so they hit the same weight the week before, hard as nuts. <laughs> and I reckon you were spotting them. I, I, won't, I won't say it was. Jamie was no, yeah. in the video. And um, in the update, I was like, yeah, I was like, look, next week. Not So this was the week before. Yeah. So yeah, I think next week, Take two and a half, five kilos off. So I get through the rest of the update. He's hit the same weight again, failed it. So yeah, I think it just comes to education as well. On these, like, there's no Always. point. There's nothing. They're not gaining anything out of that. Well, they are. They're, they're learning. It's a lesson. They're lesson. It's a lesson. Yeah, this is the. So the, if they repeat it every, you know, week on it. week on week, then that's not. They're not learning. Because this is the the next question. I, like I've gotten just from doing check ins over the last two days. If you have someone that isn't a chronic undershooter, they fail a lift. They think all is lost. Like, what would you communicate? to the client like I think it's a good skill to have like to fail a lift fail. and to be, like to fail to know what a failure feels like one is a reference point but then also like to come back from 
and knowing like, is what? it technical or was it you just not pushing hard enough? Well, that's the thing. Like, you, yeah. you then work backwards and think, okay, can we point out a reason why that happened? Were you in the right mindset? Did you execute it well? Was it good load selection on the day? And if you can pick something out to improve next time, like, all right, it could have just been that you didn't try hard enough. Next week, make sure you try. Like, it's, it more sounds stims. simple, but like, more just, just more get, get a bit more, more in the right head, more head, head, head space. And you'll more smash. I saw something from Johnny Candido that I really liked as well. Um, I don't know where I saw this because I don't really look at much powerlifting content these days, but he... Um, algorithms, man. Algorithms. Okay, yeah. Just, was, yeah. Was okay, yeah. No, he's, he was talking about doing top singles and doing your sets with zero, absolute zero G up, nothing. Just walk up, do the way. Like practicing, just train like that and then use your fucking those G No ups. enjoyment. No, no enjoyment. enjoyment. Yeah. No, not... <laughs> I think no. Jed... G up and intent are different things. Yeah, but like, yeah. no, he, obviously we know Johnny Candida is going to have intent in the exactly. bar, but yeah. just being very passive, walking up, just lift it. There's yeah. also, I think there's like a a range of G ups. There's like a little bit of a G up, and then it's like, I'm G up, like my life depends on it. You probably don't need to do what? that every so week. So he's saying like, don't do that all the time because a lot of people do that. Periodize your G ups? Yeah. Periodize we still your G ups. Yeah, we still say it. Yeah. Still say it. We don't say it as much anymore, like the ammonia for every single lift. He's not ammonia. Every, That's the thing. We were at, we, I chucked Last it out. night, Deuce was like, Scavenging for ammonia and Brendan <laughs> Brendan Maney had it. Brendan Maney, Brendan, new, bottle, new bottle, new oh, bottle. The Panther produced the Panther, the plug. No one has it because it's like only a handful of people have it. And I think the fish rots from the head, so we don't use it. <laughs> the fish rots, the fish rots from, from the head. head. We don't use it, so no one. Hundred percent. If we start using ammonia, people would be using ammonia. If we start doing any any yeah. anything at all, just filling up in each yeah. other's assholes. <laughs> <laughs> um, just going to take a quick break from the podcast to let you know that we are available for online coaching. So you can work directly with one of the boys on the podcast here. Uh, set yourself up with some goals, a fully customized, personalized program just for yourself, as well as weekly communication, support, education, technique help uh, through our online services. So if you're interested in working and taking your training to the next level and, and getting help from us, uh, we are here to help and we want to help. So you can find out more information on all of our coaching services uh, through the links down below. Uh, if you are interested, you could also just send a DM to the main page or directly with your favorite coach and they'd be happy to chat, happy to set up a call and see how we can help you with your health and fitness and performance goals for the remainder of this year. So if you're interested, please reach out. We'd love to work with you. Remember when we, <laughs> what, what were some of the phases? Neck training, yeah, we're fa- arm training. You got to go through a phase. Curl training. Yeah. The what are wrist? some phases that have stuck? Wrist. Well, running a hybrid has stuck. Oh no, it's a fad. <laughs> I think a one fad. of the. You're in it's a fad. It's a fad. <laughs> it's a two year fad. <laughs> one of the ones that I've I've definitely noticed is it's way more core training variety. Yeah, that's a big one. I, I will way say more. We've, we've got a lot of that. I got inf- I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Two people did influence me: Alec Blennis and Angus Bradley. Hundred percent. They were pushing that 100%. probably 18 months, two years ago. That you know, and I was like. I'll probably do a little bit more of this. So this is more just started bringing the some, yeah, some more variety the in the active side planks, the Love rope crunches, the GHD. GHD is a good one. You can do the side bends. You can do the crunches, the reverse GHD. There's a lot of variations on there. Just getting the trunk moving, loaded. But I don't think that's a fad. I think that was just something we could do better. Yeah, and well, we, I, I, we implemented yeah. It. I, it was, it was, it was a, just a, something that's, that's traveled stuck. around yeah. full circle. Next training was a fad. This is something <laughs> that's come around full circle. You look yeah. at all old bodybuilding books, all old bodybuilding anything. It and it's all uh, side bends, there's crunches, there's leg raises, there's this, and it's just come around full circle. But I think the context was a bit different. It's like, yeah, right, hypertrophy is it, but it's just an expansion of like the variability chat. Variability. Get the so ribs like, moving. We're doing like, it was extension based, variability was flexion, by way of usually there's like isometric core drills. And then a lot of the core training was like chops and shit like that. You know, it's just like rotate hard, flex hard, because yeah. all you're doing is being. And, and then, then there was that big position. thing of like, oh, well, if you're doing squats, you're uh, you're getting a strong core anyway, and that because the squat is like a you know a stat, you're, you're, uh, static, rigid, rigid, just resistant you're holding that, that yeah, yeah. That, that's your, you don't need to bend and but it's like but train the system as a whole, make it feel good. That's one fad that oh, yeah, again not a fad but one thing that the gym made a pretty aggressive shift towards. But and it's, it's definitely hung around. around. Yeah. 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 yeah, we need a treaty. <laughs> No, we, we? Need, we need a we, we need, need a treaty. We need a stairmaster because I'm doing uh, King not, of the Hill. Not a stairmaster. Oh, I saw you were doing King yeah. of the Hill. So I've, I've my coach, my coach every year told me I need to get on the stairmaster. I've, I'm heavy. not doing it, but I'm going and going to be his. Uh, Charlie's his, my pit crew. His me. shaman. His shaman. <laughs> oh, spiritual when he comes shaman. off a, when he comes off a lap, yeah. you're gonna de- spiritual shaman. Deregulate. Yeah. He'll come the, down at the bottom, and Charlie will say, 
I'll I'm be hungry. There. You got any cheese? <laughs> <laughs> my, my feet are sore. <laughs> I'll be there. Now, me and Dudes are gonna. Uh, me and Deuce are gonna go, and uh, I want to go. Um, and 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 be involved, like, and be involved and stuff. How many? Uh, how and, like, uh, be did this? What's your crew? attitude going into King of the Hill, Dudes? Okay, we're going all night. I, I want to. He doesn't know it yet. I, I'm gonna be giving him drinks with caffeine, like <laughs> dosed with caffeine. He doesn't that. even know. We love that. He'll be fucking like this adrenaline jab ping. to the yeah. chest. Like, that's what I'm saying. Do we? Bit do, of we do we ping? <laughs> do we? Do we ping or do we like? Stay you in want a pin? No, ping, like ping. ping, like fucking, or do we Test. like in a med- meditative state? Like, I don't know. What's no, meditative? I think you need to go aggressive on stims for 24 to 36 hours and no, then I just hit the, hit the wall. I personally think you don't stim during the day. The stims come later at night. I, that's when what I was thinking. Start chill. When you need them, then start yeah. stimming. I think it's during alpha GP. Yeah. 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 During the day, Ice it's just, it's, yeah. <laughs> during the day, it's just food, electrolytes, And sodium. I think going into it, uh, we, we collectively need to decide, am I pushing through the night? Because if I come into it and saying, we're going to do the day, come be at night, we're getting out that's of it, that's fine. But if I, I think there has we, to be a decision- no, you've got to push through I the night. we got to do no, 24 no, hours. No. Okay. Well, I think we go with open-ended, no, but limitless. That, but if, if we are going to push we, Modaf. collectively, you're, you're saying as long as I'm saying, <laughs> if we're pushing overnight, we need to prepare for that. Like we have to know, all right guys, like we're- We need a tent. No, I'm, you know I'm coming for the night. All right, cool. say? <laughs> you had I'm bringing the tent. It's 24 hour minimum. All right, thanks. I, I needed, it is I needed, definitely. Yeah, I needed yeah. something. Well, like, is that 24 know. laps? Is it every hour? And then I, I want to stay. I'm bringing the 10. I want to stay. Three kilometers every hour? I don't know if Deuce knows that yet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought she'd be it. like, that's a 10 hour thing. I'm like, no, no, we're going there. We're fucking. Well, that's the thing, because you need to know what you're getting into. You can't yeah. be like, I'm going for 10 hours. Like, it's I'm back out like, ultra. Oh, Deuce has been gone for 24 hours. Like, We'll see if I can. Fuck. But I, I want to I wanna be somewhat more prepared. I'm not going to like devote the next fucking. So, eight what's your strap then? What's your strap for training? Well, I'm, 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 by then I'll be. I'm continuing to get better at running. That's got to help somewhat. But I do. Need, I think I need some exposure to. Well, I think an, aerobic, yeah. but just aerobic running, aerobic. Ro- that'll be aerobic better. Base, That's getting better, and we'll get better. But yeah. I need it. Maybe if it's once a week. I think walking lunges. I think incline, incline wrong, treadmill. Though. It would be good. Well, it's like the only fuck way you're going to replicate. Squat, if you can do AMRAP walk and lunges and start doing. Because if you're lunges. not doing stairmaster or not accessing a huge hill with elevation, I need I need to get some exposure to that. You get some loaded load lunges. alleyway, hundred rep fucking lunges and ten grams of sodium every hour. Just fucking and then and then in, I reckon if you can get a stairmaster and an incline treadmill at a gym, I reckon yeah. that would be handy. Suss it. Damn it, stairmaster, stairmaster. Have you ever used one? I've I don't think I've ever used one for more than like a minute. I'm like I'm a sweater in general, like but <laughs> Derrick is doing so any, hot. any anything, but stairmaster within. 10 minutes, I'm like dripping yeah. on the Stairmaster. Oh, it is like the most, I don't know. Don't if know anyone here trains at Iron Addicts in Ringwood, the guy's probably still there. There was this older dude, he's probably like 40s, 50s, fucking just jacks, like biceps, like not, not like the biggest frame, but just fucking muscular as fuck, <laughs> proper <laughs> bicep veins. He would just crush that fucking thing. Just he'd be <laughs> pouring up. He'd just be, oh. I like, love the bodybuilder, like insane, the bodybuilder insane. frequency of cardio and like how hard and just like, it's just ingrained in the culture. Yeah, you got to start. Ingrained. Put on. It's, you got to. Put the on. The he was Incline singlet, treadmill. Singlet, and like they're moving singlet. at pace as well. Some of them are super slow, but between incline and the stepper, I don't know if it's the gas, but <laughs> there's no fear of like cardio killing gains with that. Nah. It's pretty. Nah. It's an interesting one. But yeah, and then and that's the I know thing. It's like, not hard shit. People, I know it's not running, but, but still, also people, it's still they'll hard. do that. But then it's somehow, a big effort, yeah. Yeah. T- somehow people think cardio kills gains. Like, the step is fucking it. hard. The step yeah, I no would doubt. put up there with like no high doubt. intensity Especially cardio. Especially when you're 120 kilos lean, yeah. nuts. <laughs> yeah. Throw a glute kick back in there here yeah. and there. <laughs> Crazy king of the mutt. I want, I'm very interested <laughs> to <laughs> see though what who, how them. hard some of these guys go. There'll be some dude that does proper fucking enduro guys. Like, and man, it's ten thousand dollars. Fuck, cunts are gonna be pushing it. Like, it's gonna be mad. Yeah. What what swung you to doing it? His big I don't know. Nuts. I don't it was, know. It, it, was like, the, it was the podcast with Ethan. It was Ethan. a podcast with Ethan. I'm like, that, that sounds fun. Like I don't know, it's a challenge. Yeah, but you just sort of snuck your entry in with no one. Well, because because like, you know I struck my entry. Charlie messaged me and he's, he's there was like three spots left. I'm like fuck, I yeah. and then it sold out like the next day. So I nearly didn't get in. I'm like, oh, fuck. It sold out. Time to time. To I, I sent it to him. It was less than ten spots. And, yeah, it was something um, like that. I sent it to Diz and he registered straight away. I, I'm like, fuck, I need to register because I wanted to do it. So yeah, but uh, I think it's just it's cool because. It's very like open ended. You could go there for five hours, or you go there for a day. It's like you just you're gonna find out. Like obviously with a lot yeah, of other with a lot find. of events, it's a set thing. You, <laughs> you know, go there for a minimum out. of one day. Well, there's no five correct, hours. but like it's it's. I like it. It's open ended. Like with everything else, it's like you run for ten k's, whatever the try. Yeah. There's a limit. Whereas it's like 
How long do you want to push? Yeah, like, yeah. just going back to all right, twenty. If you do twenty four hours, that's twenty four times three. Seventy five k's. Seventy five k's. That is a massive. It is no, no doubt. I'm, I'm not it's a massive I, look, effort. If I can get twenty four hours, no, man, I'm not. That's I'm Ethan. Not Ethan's thing that day on the potty was like you don't know how far you can go. Because you never push, and I've never in these. I don't see myself like for me. That's more enticing than doing a trial. Like I just don't see myself swimming or riding anytime yeah, soon. Maybe yeah. one day, but for that, I'm like. I can I could walk, I could walk mm. up a hill. Like it's, it, you know what I mean? Like it's, I'm not saying it's easy, but yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. it's like a cool way to test yeah, how far can you go? Next like, we'll yeah. be doing 200 kilometer ultras. Did Just you see the hardest geezer? Yeah, the hardest geezer. Is that his actual was, name? No. no. <laughs> Why is everyone's <laughs> name hard, hardest geezer? Because it's, it's, it's his Instagram name. Oh, yeah, no, no, not, one, no not, his, not his name, but is that like his- a geezer. A geezer is a British it, thing. That's what Ollie, yeah, Ollie's a- French freezer, mate. Ollie's a geezer. Lemon squeezer. I was just, his, name, his name's Russ Cook. <laughs> Russ geezer. Cook. Yeah. But his Instagram is hard geezer. The hardest geezer. Oh, sorry, He's got the that hardest forest, geezer. And forest that's a fair now. enough fucking name to go for. And geezer. what did you do? He, he ran did. Africa. He ran the length of Africa. Oh, top to bottom. Yeah, he yeah. completed his 9,940 mile run which is 16,000 kilometers <gasps> over 356 days. So he ran got pretty much- Got done in a year. Fuck a year. A year. What a, ran hard 16 a hard game. He got robbed. He got kidnapped. They stole his shit. Really? Yeah. Africa's a pretty scary place. Was he, he was with a crew though. Yeah, but I think they kidnapped him, bro. And they left his crew. That's oh what I read. Insta Instagram Fuck, I need to watch comments. Yeah. There'll be a documentary on him, surely. Well, sure. If they don't make one on that. And it was like real exponential rise. Because I looked at- um, Someone told me about it. Jake Webster- he told me about it and I looked at his um, donations. I'm like, oh, that's pretty sad. I think at the time it was like, I don't know, 70,000 pound. And I think he's just ticked 950,000 yeah. pound. Yeah, he blew this up a, a little few bit. months later. He's blown up like now, like recently, like it's it's everywhere. Yeah. I've seen him everywhere. Jake told yeah. me like a couple months ago. Yeah. And it just went, Whoa. Yeah, it just blew mad. up massively. As he, as he probably, I reckon it was probably as people saw that he was actually going to do it. Because like yeah. you say you're going to do it and you start, but then- when he's like over 50%, 60%. He's on track, and yeah. He's like, oh, exactly fuck, he's yeah. And then it's got traction on socials. Um, I was going to say as well, old mate uh, Fergus Crawley just did a 250-kilometre ultra oh, yeah. as well. So, yeah. Crazy. I mean, this idea, I was telling Diddy here before. I want to, at the end of the year, I'm just going to do a marathon on Beach Road. Just, just far, I, I looked it up. Frankston to Port Melbourne, 42K, done. Easy. 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 Well, I just was like, all these guys are fucking, like, just, just, just gotta do, do it. it. Yeah, yeah don't I'm, just do I'm, it. I'm more inclined. I want to go the other way. I think it was Mornington to Sorrento <laughs> is 40 k's. Why don't we do it on the same yeah. day and we'll do? A bit more. Yeah, we, we're a bit more scenic. There's, there's oh, mazes no, and shit up that way. Yeah, mazes. Yeah. Every time I go there yeah, now, I'm yeah, like, it is hilly up. Yeah, meet in the middle that way. Yeah, meet in the middle. You I want to Port Melbourne. Wait, you said Mornington to Sorrento. Sorrento. Sorry, I'm thinking from like Frankston through. That's it gets a bit. Yeah, no, I think Mornington be all right. The whole road there's flat. Yeah, do that. Do Mornington to Sorrento. Or spend it in morning scene. Oh, whatever. We can do whatever. I mean, the world's our oyster. Get a vanilla slice. It'd be more, yeah. more scenic. More boats. More, I don't more know. boats. Yeah, um, punch on Sorrento Hotel after. 42K. <laughs> well, yeah. After the cross. I'll, yeah. I'll join in halfway. I'll, I'll fucking run half Cause, of it. Because now it's like virtually Ooh. impossible to get into the Melbourne Marathon. So Just set your own up. Set my own up. Backyard we'll, make, we'll make an event. Well, it's not backyard. It's just Fucking marathon. come join Charles for his mm -hmm. marathon. Just run to Rye. Charles Marathon. Well, I was like, why not? Fuck it. The year at the end, like Ryan, you know, when he had him on, he was like, they did a fucking marathon before work. Like, it's, I think, yeah, I'm just Jeremy did one in the fucking streets of Kilo back yeah, in COVID, like, like yeah. <laughs> around the block, like, and all these guys are doing these crazy things that are like super, but it's like a marathon's achievable. Everyone, a lot of people run marathons, so it's achievable. It's just yeah. doing it, just fucking get an ultra bag, some gels, and go. Let's go. Sodium, easy. I've Oozy. got a before we before before we get into undershooters, we've got one thing. Can we do a role play? Yeah. So Didier is it's let's say it's three AM in the morning. He's just done seventeen laps of this loop. You're speaking highly of me. I don't know if we're getting to seventeen, but all right. He's just finished <laughs> that the lap. Shoot, Mark. Fuck, right. you can Charlie, do it. Yeah. what as his pit crew, what are you saying? I've got to be I've got to be on. You, what are you doing? I've gone back to the drawing board and I've looked at my performance at Ethan Fleming's challenge and <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make some I'm gonna make some big improvements. I've got to be the energy. <laughs> you got to be. I think for Ethan's all comedic relief. <laughs> yeah, this is different. This I got to be the energy because he's fuck. It's gonna be. Yeah, he's he's. I he, wonder if I can like his soul's been taken. What are I you wonder do? and I wonder if there's rules against like. I don't know, Ethan. No, narcotics. Like, <laughs> no, no, no. Like, am I allowed to walk with him at that? Like, or probably not. Or could you half a lap with him or something? Yeah, like push him along. Is that like because you see that in ultras? Like, I know Nick Bear Shut when me. he did that big one, um, the 160 mile one, or whatever the fuck it was. He had like people come in like throughout the night because fucking you'd be battling demons. I reckon Ethan yeah. will do it solid. 
He'll do it for me. Do it for you. Yeah. Put a high, no, I want a high on. You'll be right. He might have a, a blanket <laughs> rule, no. Or, okay. yeah. But uh, 3 a.m., fuck. It's going to be hard because it's, it's go one more. Because <laughs> well, I know Ethan said when the sun comes up, it's like, if done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, the sun's not up. It's 3 a.m. Apparently, it's, yeah, that 2 to 5 a.m. is the dark. Yeah, right in the middle of it. It's the dark. The dine is darkest before he, the dawn. He wants to quit. What do you say to him? Quit. Quit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Quit. Let's go. Hey, let's wait. Yeah, quit. Like a quit. Let's oh, go. Yeah, there's a Mac. Oh, there's a Mac. Is like 25 k's yeah, away. We'll get to Mac. Is um, get there in time for the car yeah. We're ready to go. I think that I think I think I got to push him as long as I can because. But that when he he'll know when he's wanting to fully quit, like when he's. Are you gonna bark down. at him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when he loses his bark, you've got to be his. Yeah, bark. I've got to be his bark. Get a dribble. Arr, arr. Out the chin. It, Fuck no, me. It'll be fucking. Uh, I'm, like, be my legs literally feel like when I signed up, I literally felt doms in my leg. I'm like, oh. what weekend is it? <laughs> I've no. It's the eleventh. I think it's um November sometime. It's, no, it's second November. Of, second of November. It's uh. Is it the long Easter weekend? weekend? Not Easter, Easter weekend. Easter. Fucking Melbourne, Melbourne, Cup. Melbourne Cup. I've like vaguely told oh, Victoria no, what it is, but I don't think she actually knows. I'm like gonna drive like somewhere in the country and just like walk overnight. Well, now I'm walking overnight. Now we know that. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm just thing. You just do as many laps. Like, oh, cool. It's like, oh no. It's, it's Melbourne Cup weekend. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not, well, it's going to be like a camping. Yeah, um, no, no Monday morning shift. So I'm going to be walking. Wait, is it, does it start on a Sunday? When does it start? I think it starts on the Saturday. It'll right. start start Saturday. Of the week. I'll do the Monday morning shift. I think it'll start. It makes sense. Is it a start. public holiday? Oh, well, that's the thing. Public holiday. Monday yeah. technically no. isn't. We'll make it one. We'll make, we'll make a one. Didier. If I get through the night, no shift. I've got to make it through the night. Week off. Um, <laughs> get past 3 a.m. The 3 a.m. Yeah, yeah, no, I think like, from what I've watched of ultras on YouTube and stuff, like they're like, they, when they're done, they're done. They know they're done. I think they know they're done. So how are you going to know when Didier's done? I'm going to fucking punch him in the face. <laughs> it just sounds like, it sounds a bit like yeah, dramatic and like trying to make it, oh, it's going to be so, such a, such a war. But like, I feel like you have to like, Physically fall to the ground, like you can't, like just like you know what I mean. Like you have to, you got to crawl. You have to do a lap where you like, all right, I've phys- like you know what I mean. Like yeah. otherwise, well, but you're not- apparently there's second wins then. So how do you know you're done? <laughs> because apparently I've watched these videos and they're like, you've got a second win. Like you, there's some dark you have laps. You to at least then- get to that. Like, you, you can't, gonna- you can't finish it having not like fall into the ground. Yeah, you, you have mean? to like, be on your knees at some point. At some point, otherwise begging, you're not done. Begging, begging, begging for mercy, <laughs> Dad. Please, um, I want to make it my food. <laughs> <laughs> um, Char- are you going to track his like fluid intake his sodium yeah, well, intake well, well, Charles will have it all sorted yeah? Yeah. All, all of it I'm coaching that day probably. nah so coaching. one gram of sodium per hour that's it one element an hour Done. intravenous <laughs> intravenous give me on an IV yeah IV drip. 15 <laughs> minutes he'll do it 45 minutes 15 minutes IV go again easy Fucking go again um, are you going to let him sleep well, he can. Nah, I'm a micro if I fall asleep a, I won't wake up micro I'm sleeps <laughs> apparently help but I'm a deep sleeper yeah, that'd be hard. No sleep. Just I, I think the stu- we're going to go stupid on the caffeine. caffeine. So. Yeah. No yeah. sleep. No sleep. It'll be like 200 milligrams every hour on the hour. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, Siri, at what point is, does caffeine kill you? We're going <laughs> to block those adenosine receptors. Yeah. We're just going to fuck them up. Alpha JPC, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I rate it. Crazy. All right, let's finish off the uh, overshooter or undershooter conversation. What do we do with chronic undershooters? Because Nick Barreto is chronically undershooting right now. Yeah, he, guy. he explained why. <laughs> But God, what was the explanation? What was his explanation? No, he was just he was just saying like I, I think I've gotten stronger and that's his. Yeah. So that's that's yeah, where like definitely. I I want to push like as I, I literally had this conversation with him last night his deadlifts because he did one ninety five for a double and I was like you could have done two ten <laughs> and um I was like I think we got to start like pushing your goals up because he was like oh yeah two ten two fifteen I was like nah two twenty by the end of the block I think yeah two twenty for a double because yeah he's he's trained long enough now and he's got the this this his, you know techniques good. Someone like that, Fucking. would you get him to push harder within like the next week? Like add the 10 kilos, not to 220, but add the 10 kilos. 205, Or yeah. would you say just keep adding five, go linear progression until you get to that point? Well, he'll probably just do that. That's, well, that's kind of what we do anyway. Yeah. With, really linear. with a lot of his lists, I think he said like I'm just, it's week one. Like obviously most people do. I'm going to start super easy. He's got numbers in mind. I'm like, I just want to add a little bit each week, which is definitely a sensible approach. But on top of that, you don't have to be married to that. Like as much as it's, oh, it's add two and a half a week or five a week. It's like- you, you can go up seven and a half. Yeah. Like you don't have to strictly stick to these because li- it's take advantage of the good weeks. Like it's, they'll all happen. Like he's, yeah, jump yeah. up. And the, the, the dilemma is that, yeah, he is happy because he's getting stronger. It's not like he's not getting stronger. Well, that's the thing. If, if it ain't broke, yeah. don't figure. If he's getting like, stronger, he's happy. Yeah, could he like, lift more? Probably, but he's happy. And he's 
progressing. He's progressing, and he'll probably still get there anyway. Just and he's got eighteen inch in, in charms. He's got eighteen inch charms. Yeah, hey, he's looking big. big he's, thick, he's, he's got eighteen inch charms. I measured last the night. Guy, Char- Charlie had the uh, the tape out. Full pump. Yeah, oh, I was eighteen, for the eighteen tape three the quarter, day. wasn't it? Eighteen quarter. Also, I've ordered um, eighteen. Eighteen, eighteen a quarter uh, sure. flex pumped. I've, al- flex. I've also ordered Lost. some batteries. You know, we have that stopwatch. I've ordered some yeah. batteries for it. So we're going to start timing people. It's like, like timing time what? to go. Just everything. Rest. Rest. Like, time to go. I rest, time rest everything. Time is the most important thing. I time everything. training intent, I reckon. You're big time guy now, are you? Yeah. I've been a time guy for ages. The best. Yeah? Yeah. I've been a time guy for ages. What are you timing? Rest. Yeah, but like what? Like how long? <laughs> like what? Anywhere from one to three minutes, yeah, depending yeah, on yeah. what it is. If it's a more main lift, it'll be like a three minute thing. Um, usually it's a two, two, two minutes is 90 seconds to two minutes is usually my rest time for everything else. Yeah. It's a gateway to getting all your work done yeah. and or getting more work done. And with intent, because usually the thing that drags, pump, people, people get to that last quarter and they're like, oh, I've got somewhere to be and then they just turn to shit. You've got to chase the pump. The pump's very, <laughs> no, 100%. Can't not chase the pump. You've no, I'm being serious. I, I, I fucking don't let the pump go. And time's a factor. <laughs> just yeah. hold that Time's pump. a factor. Time. You're doing three minute... Three to four minute rests in between bicep kills. You get yeah, no pump. No, doing your pec deck and then having a fucking twelve minute chat and losing, losing no banana. pump. Sixty because second rest into chest press. Hundred percent. Like so on, on Saturday, I had to do twelve exercises, catching up, shit happened, whatever. So I just had to catch up a lot of twelve. Training. Did, you, did, did twelve back, exercises? Backyard ultra. I did a gym. backyard ultra, but. With that, when, because I was obviously pushed for time, I didn't want to be for fucking four hours. After my shift was done, I was just like smashing my accessories, minimal rest, like supersetting everything. But even in that, like just one exercise, other exercise, quick drink, quick drink, and then back. And in doing that, I'm like, man, the amount of times that I've rested way more than I need. 20 minutes. With like accessories. I'm like, yeah, there might be some small drop off in rep strength. But at the end of the day, me, I know there's definitely weeks where I don't get every exercise done. I'm better off resting two minutes, let's say, to get every single thing done, push to a hard RPE so it's still simulative, but actually get your exercise in versus like, oh, I missed this, I missed that, I've got to catch it up, oh, I never catch it up. It's like, yeah, obviously intensity is important. I- improving your strength on exercise is important, but something done at five kilos less or two reps less is better than just fucking missing it because you ran out of time. Because it's, mm-hmm. a, it's, a, it's a problem. Like people have limited amounts of time, time your rest. Like it's, it's literally the, the easiest and only thing you can do. Like, yeah. And then if you're timing your rest and it's still too long, just do less. That's it. Like there's yeah. no there's no harm. You'd rather quality work rather than fucking two hard sets garbage. Someone, if you ever see in the gym, James Britton has become a fish and ass. He is he with his because since he moved away from powerlifting, he's like running, he's doing some like uh, Muay Thai. He's, he's training three days now down to two days. Everything's been like giant sets. Like he does like four exercises in a row. He'll he'll hit like seventy on the pendulum RPA nine within ten seconds. He's he's doing dips like proper, just like straight to it. And you can you can do it like he was a powerlifter. Proper, like, you know, rest 10 minutes like all of us do. Eat but but now within like fucking six months, he's literally like everything. Just He gets like a full session done in 50 minutes. Like mm. proper hits, full body session, hard, hitting PBs. Like it can be done. You've just got to commit to it. Like yeah. it's definitely yeah. doable. Don't get the like, oh, you limit tension because there's potentially lost reps by a limited rest period or this, that. It's like, oh. who cares, bro? Man. Shut up. Dorian <laughs> Yates. <laughs> Dorian <laughs> Yates. Just, do, just seriously, just, just do it. Like, just do it. Dorian Yates used to train in 50 minutes. It can be done. And everyone used to tell him it's not enough. And he's like, you come train with me once and you'll see if you want to do more at the end. Oh, yeah. Mate, he's got the densest back. He's got the, he had the back. He's got so that he's dense, back. dense muscle, he's man. Dense. It's not just muscle, muscle, dense muscle. Dense I just muscle. think at the end of the day, there's, we've seen time and time again, all these jacks people, strong people that have done it in different ways. Just, yeah. It's it's like so cliche. It's just like everything works. Like the, the the constant is like consistency and effort. Effort, 100%. like it's just it's yeah. Just, just keep going. Keep I going somehow up. ended up on a triathlete forum before. I don't know how. It was and they were talking about Nick <laughs> those algorithms. They were talking, <laughs> yeah, yeah. About, <laughs> they were talking about. How Nick did that Bear. happen? <laughs> they were talking about Nick. How did Bear. a triathlete end up on a triathlete? <laughs> <laughs> Google <laughs> triathlon <laughs> forum. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! I don't know. <laughs> <up here. laughs> <laughs> Some of the people that end up there and just the shit they were talking about Nick Bear, I was like, shut the fuck. What are they up. talking? Like, what are they saying? Oh, they were just about like, it doesn't matter. He's not like he he hasn't gotten that just from eating food anyway, insinuating that he's on the gear. And I'm like, yeah, but regardless, like, he's a fucking animal. He ran a two hour and forty minute marathon just recently. He's deadlifted three twenty. Like, then the day for all those feats, you need work ethic, consistent training. It doesn't fucking matter if you're on. Like, I, I just there's a lot of people, people on gear that don't pull three twenty. Like, yeah, but yeah, regardless, there's a lot of people on gear that don't look like they're on gear. There's a lot of people <laughs> that aren't on gear that have done crazy shit too. But like, it's like gear, no gear. It doesn't matter. It's the fucking consistency, effort to to 
like some of those like workouts that I was watching because I was really following his YouTube channel when he was doing his marathon prep. Grueling workouts, like 26 mile interval sessions, like fucking. And then obviously he's not pushing his strength as much now, but like he has deadlifted 320. Like to deadlift 320 is fucking hard. There's not many people that can do it. And he's done it. But then he's just got these dweebs that are just fucking on a phone. I'm like, oh, shut the fuck up. Did, did you, you, did you create up, a profile and hit back at yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I said, yo. Yeah. Nah, I I'm got a, on there. The reason I I'm got on I'm a silver there, medalist. I, go- <laughs> <laughs> I know what it takes. No, I Googled. Yeah, I Googled. Yeah, hey, I came second last at the Clydesdales. Uh, <laughs> to actually, no, I Googled half Iron Man and strength because I wanted to see what came up. That's not just Alex Viata and Fergus Crawley, but nothing really. It's just those like stuff. a program or yeah, or just see what was out there. Yeah, in yeah. terms of like content, you'll be yeah, the guy. And there wasn't. I have to have a better look because I kind of got stuck on the forum. Um, <laughs> they get you those forums, <laughs> but uh, yeah, exactly how you ended up on the forum. We've yeah. answered that question. You were googling strength training in Iron Man, and Half you ended up on was a forum about Nick Bear, about <laughs> Nick Bear, who's an a, a powerlifter yeah. and an Iron Man. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm glad we got to the bottom we of that. Got to the bottom of that. So there really isn't. I don't think there's many still out. It's yeah, Viata, Crawley, and Nick Bear. They're the big if ones. If you know one, send ones. to Charlie. So, well, I was just seeing if there was other yeah, any other content. But what is uh, what's that? Uh, Jordan, we're going to Jordan Peterson now. <laughs> what? <laughs> what's his um? What's one of his like principles where it's like eighty percent of the attention is on twenty percent of the people. Whatever that is, social, that's social dominance hierarchy. Pareto principle. Pareto is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. That's what that's what you've probably just recognised. That eighty percent of the attention around hybrid stuff is probably just those, On three, those people. three people. Yeah, but they're the actual people doing shit. Yeah, cool shit. Talking about it. Getting it done. Getting, getting, it, getting it done. done. Yeah. Hit your fast. There's doers and there's losers. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I see. Like, someone needs to buy. I don't know. Was it a PhD and getting it done? and getting it done. <laughs> Matt. Fucking hell. Matt. Oh, is that the guy that does the face to cam? I don't know. I don't know. I saw like it somewhere. Laugh. It stuck with me though. He's um <laughs> he's like a finance guy in New York. Has anyone seen that? I've guy? seen the guy with the super tight t-shirt. He's like, all my employees have got a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Is that him? No, no, no. Your girlfriend wants you to have a six pack. No, yeah. this guy, I don't know. This guy's on Instagram. Davis Clark. Oh, he's the king. Yeah, and he's, yeah, he's yeah. like, I'm just getting into work today. I got to oh, meet. Oh, locked in. He's locked, locked in. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy is hilarious. He's so good. It was so, every, like his arc of popularity started out with like, this guy, is, everyone hated him. Everyone hated him. This finance bro now, everyone is just like, this guy, is, he's genuine. You go to videos from six years ago, and it's exactly oh, the same. he's been gone for that long. Yeah, yeah like little bits and pieces yeah, not, of his mates. The and now it's like, now. yeah, everyone's like, this guy's just like this. His comment section is one of the funniest so fucking good. comment sections ever. It's just people gene him up. Like, yeah, yeah you get that meeting, man. Like, <laughs> or it's a hate comment, which the second comment turns into something positive. Yeah. It's fucking man. Is that guy you showed me? I don't know if I showed you. Davis Clark. You showed me that really autistic guy. <laughs> The one that, like, what the fuck? You gotta bleep that. Yeah. He's definitely. You can bleep yeah. it, but yeah, no, you it's should. him. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, it's like super autistic. That was the one you showed me. Yeah, he did show me. Probably, no, he might be a bit further than just the autistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might you be did in show that me. Burger and territory. You, were like, you, were like 55. <laughs> you can Whenever, bleep um, it. He's like an ultra runner and shit. Like he's an animal. He's oh, fucking hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever I hear getting it done, I just think of Kai Green, twenty fifteen. In the hoodie, in his little apartment, Over cooking five kilos of chicken breast, and every video was, yeah, he just he just opened it with Mister Gender Gen Dunn, Dunn. Kai Green, aka Mister Gender Dunn. And it's like fuck, was that before or after the grapefruit? Oh, like, oh definitely after. Definitely grapefruit after. was yeah, grapefruit. way back. Just Mister Gender Dunn. The, just, the bodybuilding and running's made made me going back to just getting it done. It's just do more goggles. They do just get it done. Do more goggles. Yeah, I just I I I I just like it's not around it. That's one number. And I think like you're lifting, you're often getting it done. No, I am, but you're I, training in general. You I've realized that I was just showed still, up and do it. Yeah. I was still half miserable with lifting because I still <laughs> hadn't fully let go of powerlifting. Yeah, you're burnt out. I was burnt out. Are you still, <laughs> I'm still burnt, burnt out? out? I'm burnt, mate, I'm burnt to a crisp. <laughs> I don't feel like you're burnt out at all anymore. Yeah, now you're no, because right I'm not fucking powerlifting. I'm doing what I want to do. And I must admit, I think it's bled into a lot of areas, other areas. Because I'm doing what I actually yeah. want to do, which is like, the endurance stuff, bodybuilding. I love. I'm actually really loving the bodybuilding. 
Get it done. Starting with Peck Deck into Rick, chest press, crazy. Ricky Panada. Ricky Panada. Rudy Panada. <laughs> Ricky Panada. Rudy, Ricky. Fuck Derrim, it's good. I'm back on the Derrim. <laughs> <laughs> right, now, now that the try's done, and I've, I've been back there. Oh, I'm going tomorrow. Oh, Loving it. Love it. it. Derrim wasn't yeah. the problem. <laughs> cotton singlets, pump, crazy. Easy. Got to be cotton. Got to be cotton. Did we ever explain what to do with uh, undershooters? Uh, Bash yeah, push them a bit harder. Nah, push them. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Just stop under. Guidance. Co- it's actually, either that actually do our goes, job. <laughs> one, it, uh, I think it goes one of two ways. Get them in and just say do more and then see what happens and do more up until a point like, yeah, all right, you're working close to your limit or go linear. Linear until, progression. I think linear progression is great. Describe just add five just, kilos yeah. to the bar until yeah. it gets really hard. Yeah. They're probably the two that I would do. Like and, I, and I, I love showing someone that they can do it. And so I it's think like, hey, man, on top of that, just like- Purposely prescribing, which which you talked about the other week with accessories, like purposely prescribing higher RPEs than you usually would, mm. because even if they undershoot, they're still going to be at a good range. Like prescribe a nine, they hit a seven and a half. Yeah. Great. Because the AMRAP happy. thing, I don't think AMRAP, like AMRAP for an accessory, or whatever. But you wouldn't. You can't be AMRAP wrapping squats. Don't begin. Yeah. We don't be found squats, squats and benches. And like, nah. I reckon AMRAP wrapping. The other one that I would probably say is if you had planned to take five ki- at the start of the block, chatting with your coach, you t- plan to take like five kilos every, maybe just. Seven and a half. Yeah. Like just increase your, your jumps. Bigger jumps. Yeah, just yeah. taking slightly bigger jumps every week. Yeah. If you'd yeah. plant fives and things are flying, maybe just go seven and a half. Yeah. So I find with beginners, it's like a lack of understanding and RPE more than it is like chronic undershooting and fear of failure sort of thing. They or like don't not know what it feels They just like. don't know what it feels like. So for them, it's yeah. the check-in in week one and two is like, hey man, I, I'm not getting the right RPEs. It's like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's still five a very- Five kilos a week, two and a half kilos a week, five and a half. Just keep going. It's still a big attachment to the linear progression too. And we know with true RPE training, you don't get that. There is ups and downs. But I explained this to some, one of the new clients that just came on board, came from prescribed load models and was just struggling to grasp the RPE at the start. But now like uh, every time something pops up and he's like, oh, my kid was up all night and I, I didn't sleep that well. And I was like, this is why we use RPE. This is exactly why we use up here because he goes and he goes, I thought I was only going to get this. I didn't sleep, but I still got a bigger weight than I thought. And I go, that's exactly like, that's exactly why we want you to be able to select your loads because you, you've, we don't know. We just actually don't know. And well, the sleep, the lack of sleep could have really fucked you up and it, and then your weight plummets 10% or you still perform. Nothing happens. Cause that's the better. thing. Training fatigue, Lack of sleep, all these things doesn't necessarily mean performance is going to be impacted. Or everything can be lined up and you still have a shit session. You're like, oh, I slept a yeah. lot. I'm recovered. It's like, shit happens. Like, yeah. it's com- You're a fucking moving object. <laughs> You're a fucking um, moving object. I've got a question. What are the other things that you've said that have bled into other parts of my life? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no, no, I just feel like your attitude to like just a lot of areas has been- what? More positive in this time. <laughs> be really specific, like, 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 like your work, specific. like you're like oh, you're saying, you're like just you're, a better bloke. No, like you're saying, like you're no. you're. <laughs> I'm, joking. I'm more joking. happy with I'm your. Joking. Yeah, like well, you're, you're, you're you're feeling more fulfilled with your work. Icky you're feeling, guy, icky guy, icky guy. Like, icky guy. is that your purpose or like? Icky guy. Yeah, so, I actually said that last night to Deuce. The gym was crazy last night. Um, it was pumping, pumping, been pumping. Been racks made. were being shared. Oh, I love Racks that. Being shared, which was something that I know that JP is massive on at the Strength Fortress, which, which I do like, but we just never really enforced it here, but it kind of has happened naturally. Where I, and I just think that's because the community is at the all-time high. I think it's an all-time it's high. It's all-time <laughs> high. The people in there, I, and I know it's all-time high because I love being here. I love training here. Um, which well, obviously I mean, not so much. Why? No, no. I trained here the, today, Tuesday. Singing the song of no, Derriman. No, 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 <laughs> treadmill and a bit of Panadas will be here. Stair Master, done. All right. <laughs> so when I do train here- I'm happy. Yeah, nice. I love that. Yeah. We love that. <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. It's bled into other areas of your life. Yeah, but I think there's, that's also just the community as well. So it's one, training and the community is good. As we know, the fish rots from the head. So if Charlie's <laughs> happy, the community's in a good spot. <laughs> so I'm the, yeah. Charlie's but uh, last night was good. And I was just, yeah, Deuce, even Deuce made a comment just saying how the, the clientele does seem to be very reflective of us at the moment. Like where we're at, like with our training and what we're pushing, it's, it has seemed to bled through like even our power lifters are doing a bit of running or they're doing some other endeavors or like they're not I just that's the only thing and that's our fucking- like this is this was your approach to powerlifting it's the way I look at it obviously when Bulls was pushing it's like we care about getting better we just don't take ourselves too seriously and that's the lifters we have like mm. even if they're not running like we've got great lifters strong blah 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 love powerlifting love it I fucking love powerlifting but at the same time we'd have a good time. We don't stress the small stuff too much. So people who fall into that category, 
are probably going to have a good time. Oh, I, they they love think, it, but also they want to have a good time. They don't they don't care too much. You know, they don't get too worked up on it. Like I really <laughs> respect people in power. This thing like Colin Webb, because he's been in it for a long time. I feel like from he just loves it. He lo- he's doing it for the right reasons. It's his icky guy. <laughs> it's a zicky guy. I think there's a early on, and this is why there's a big drop off in powerlifters after that sort of two year mark because I think there's a lot of reason people is there's a lot of external reasons they're doing it for whatever the gram or fucking whatever it may be, get likes, look cool, and it is cool. I, I think I was in that position in the first couple of years too. But Colin Webb, icky guy, icky guy yeah. powerlifter. Icky I think guy. he got powerlifter, but and then to, to just the the next one, I think like Craig Allen. Yeah, me, Icky like, Guy Trainer. Icky Guy Trainer. <laughs> like, yeah, he was like push, <laughs> push powerlifting super hard until it like didn't serve him yeah. from like a, a but he's still subjective training experience hard. life. But now it's like shifted to body comp a bit yeah. more. Still pushing big lifts. He running wanted to get his body right. Still doing cardio once, twice per week, yeah. depending. Like, he's got a, a little one as well. Being a dad. Bubba. Um, and as a result, like, now as well, I think. What was that? Big lawn guy. Big lawn guy, big landscaper. But like we had kids on the gym floor last week asked me if he was on the gear. Craig and Allen. I told him about Craig Bro, Allen. 10 and years like, of training, man. And this is the thing. Like, you just stick at it. You and it's not really You're like, fuck, it's a proper real yeah, like, guy, natural trainer. That's where I yeah. want to get to. I, I've, I've really liked in the body because I want to look like- Charlie like, wants some fake natty accusations. <laughs> no, <I've, laughs> yeah, no, you do. 100%. That's, you when, that's when you've made it. That's either. when you've made it. Yeah. But we haven't. I haven't really- This type of training we're doing at the moment, I haven't done for years. So, mm. yeah. It's going to be good. That, that sets a 10, 12, fail, like, a, yeah, machines. What if it's only the soccer Icky guy. Deuce is very, uh, Deuce, Deuce is also Icky guy. Icky guy powerlifter. She, 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 um, she loves it. She just pushed and she, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I think you saved yeah. it. We got that back. Good job, Charlie. There's a bit, there's a bit you're going to cut. There's a bit that's gone. I think it's <laughs> in the same way that like, in the same way with like Kai Green, like, the 18 year old me getting into lifting just could sit there and watch his vlog because like you could just see he loved the He's process. He's a Nicky guy. And you can look like, Nicky I'm sure guy. there's bodybuilders who get, you know, caught up on the end goal and just about that, that one day on the platform, but like, or the, whatever they call it, the stage, like, and that's what it's all about. But for him, like, yeah, that's important, but it's about the process. Just like yeah. with powerlifters, we can resonate with the guys who are like guys, girls, whatever, just like, they just love the process. Like yeah. they're, just, they're in here for the long haul. They're going to keep at it. They just, they just love the pursuit. Like it's not mm. about, Necessarily, those those magic days where everything comes together, just about getting after it. Yeah. Pursuit, Icky the pursuit guy. of everything. Um, get the guy. <laughs> no, do you reckon there's people that don't know what Icky guy is? Out there? Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's it. leave it. They can Google it. All right, Google Icky guy. I just want to give a special shout out to my sister. All right, <laughs> mate. She's, <laughs> no, she's getting after it, man. She's smacking bench now, mate. No, fuck bench. She fucking ran. She's running ten k's in this year. Twelve k. She ran twelve k. We ran a ten k to get and on. And she had Jamie Smith because she Jamie had, said she wasn't pushing her bench. But I told her it worked. Do a half marathon because she came in and pushed her bench hard. Which came in sucking ass. I know my sister. My sister loves to drag her feet through the. <laughs> so I'm proud of her because she's actually to, to run a 10k or even to want to do a heart like you have to have a bit of mutt in you. Yeah, there's got to be a little bit of mutt. 100%. You know what I mean? Like it. Yeah, you have to. A 10k is like I remember my first 10k was fucking hard. The one I did um just off the bat at like a year ago, and it was yeah. There's this. If you want to stop, but you keep going. Just keep going. Keep showing up. But um, she she did it. She's good. Yeah. Shout well out Tess. Tess. Well Tess. done. Tess. Icky um, guy. Icky yeah. guy. And that wraps up the episode today. If you've made it all the way to the end here, we appreciate you. We love you. You are our most loyalist uh, podcast fan. We really do appreciate the support. You can help us grow the podcast by sharing it directly with someone who you think might find this valuable or find the information helpful for them. Or you can simply share us on social media. Shoot us a tag. We'd love to see it. Uh, It jigs us up more than you think. Uh, So yeah, thank you for listening. Uh, And again, I would just remind you that our April intake for our six-week gym and coaching package is now available. We have four spots left. If you're looking to join the gym, join our community, take your training to the next level and work with one of the coaches Uh, we'd love to help you out $500 covers your first six weeks it includes a full program personalized for you three one-on-ones with your coach in the gym a full gym membership uh, and it all works out to be about $83 a week so a pretty hefty saving if it is your first training block with us Um, we're also available for online coaching if you want uh, some online support and you're not local to the gym the other really positive thing about our online service is if you are in Melbourne uh, you can come down to the gym at least once uh, or once per per week. Uh, it just has to be in our coach sessions to get some technical help in person. Uh, we know that uh, not everyone can make it to the gym 
all the time as, as your full gym uh, and, and your, your only gym. So if you are somebody who lives maybe out west or up north, uh, away from us, but you can still make it down maybe once a week or once a fortnight, that is included in our online service. So uh, if you are interested, uh, just simply reach out, shoot the page a DM or fill out the form on the website. We'd love to chat and see how we can help you. We'll see you next week for episode 123. I think it is maybe even 124, but thank you very much and ciao.